What's up guys? Another day. I spent the last half hour, hour getting the torque tube off and getting the inner drive shaft from the torque tube removed. Um, if you can see, there's the drive shaft. Came out of the torque tube. The biggest thing with this is that this snap ring, it's on the inside here. It's definitely a bitch to get out. Um, cut myself pretty good. Shocker, right? But it's out. And you can take a look at the couplers. They're definitely not great. Um, some cracking going on. Definitely have seen some better days. I don't know how many more events that would have lasted, to be honest. Um, uh, it's not the worst I've seen online and stuff, but I'm happy I took it out. Next thing we're gonna do is remove, I'm gonna mark this drive shaft where it lines up so it gets reinstalled in the same place. Gonna take these bolts out on both sides. Um, and then, and then I gotta press this bearing out and this cover. And there's more snap rings on here. I gotta remove this. And there's two more bearings in here that I gotta press out. So I've seen a few people do this. I know there's different model torque tubes and stuff, but I have a press, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna focus on the front, the input shaft to the engine first, press that bearing and that dust cover off, um, and then remove the rear of it and try to get those bearings. But first, gotta take these couplers off. All right, just a quick check-in. Got the input shaft off from the drive shaft input shaft to the engine got the guibo off the coupler whatever you want to call it it's a little rough i'm not sure how much longer it would have lasted if you can see like it's cracked all around of it um so i got that off the bolts were pretty tight they're locked tighted in but they weren't too bad and then i kind of struggled at the press because This bearing was here, but, and this dust cover was over it, right? And I didn't know there was a retaining clip before this, before the bearing. So I was trying to press the bearing out with the retaining clip still in, and obviously that didn't go so well. So I looked back at it again and noticed the clip took the clip off, the bearing press right out. So all good there, gonna push on the new bearing, put the new retaining clip on and put the new dust seal on. And then the input shaft of the engine will be good. And then I'll get started on the rest of the drive shaft. But yeah, for anyone doing that, there's a retaining clip there. Make sure you take it off before you try to press the bearing out because I almost killed myself. I got the front input shaft bearing pressed in the rear one has been a little bit of a B-I-T-C-H. Um, this shaft sits in here. You have to take the sh snap ring out of, the big snap ring out of here and the small snap ring that holds the shaft in. And then the shaft presses out with this bearing and this bearing stays in. And I just took two more snap rings from here and here off. I'm gonna press this bearing out, get the new one on. Press the bearing out of this, Put press the new bearing into that, and then make sure all the snap rings go into place as well. And we should be going to start reassembling. Have a shop buddy that joined me and two more shop buddies. Hushable. Hey, Bob. That's Luna. 
I don't think you guys have met her. She's kind of, yeah. <laughs> well, how would you describe Luna? She's a little sassy. A little sassy. <laughs> Bruh. What you doing? <laughs> we got the drive shafts complete. Got new couplers, both sides, new bearings and the back housing. New bearing on the input shaft. I'm gonna throw her back in the torque tube, put this big ass snap ring back in. This was really annoying to get off. I suggest you get really good snap ring flyers to get it off. That's how I cut my finger. But I'll throw it back in there. And then that'll be a wrap for this job. Tomorrow I'll probably throw the tick master cylinder in which i have to remove the stock clutch pedal to drill into it to do that so it might take a few hours but shouldn't be too bad um overall this torque tube rebuild isn't like the worst thing in the world you just gotta like take your time go step by step remember how everything goes back together and it's really not too bad if you have a press, I guess. Um, yeah, happy with how it turned out. Hopefully the those rubber couplers last two to three years. My hope is that they last about as long as the clutch when I have to replace that again. So we'll see. I could have gotten like poly or solid couplers, but I don't know. I just wanted to steer away from those and go stock, have a little bit of dampening in the drivetrain for all the clutch, kick is, clutch kicks and stuff. So today the plan is to get the tick master cylinder installed. Uh, I just slapped on the new slave and the remote bleeder. So that's all good to go. I'll show you guys quick if anyone else needs to know how to do the master cylinder. The driver's side, you've got the master cylinder right here. Let me grab a light. Sure, you can. You'd be able to do this with the fender on. You just have to take this, the wheel off, and this cover off. And then the master is right here. Um, so you have to go underneath the dash and take off the plastic cover first show you what that is this cover sits under here and take that off you have to pop this little clip out from your master linkage right here and then your pedals free and then there's three bolts that holds the pedal on you have to take the whole pedal clutch pedal off um, it's tough to see here but you'll be able to see them on this side three nuts to take off those nuts are gonna be easier to access once the actual master cylinder is out so I'm gonna take the master out real quick it's since the linkage is already off it should be super easy Just gotta turn clockwise, counterclockwise, and it should pull out. Got it out, it was kind of annoying. Um, let's see if we can see here. This ground was wrapped around it, so I couldn't get it off. So I took the ground off, took the Reservoir, unhooked it from that master because we reused this on the new one. Um, but yeah, you just kind of have to work it out. This was where the quick release was to the slave where I cut because we're getting new stuff anyway. So, um, but yeah, we'll go ahead, 
Now we're gonna take the rest of the bolts out from the clutch pedal because we got to drill into it for the new master. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you guys the template we're gonna use and just two holes I think that we got to drill into it. All right, well, I got it out. It's really annoying. This job has been frustrating so far, but that's because I'm a little bitch today, I guess. But it's a thir three 13 mil nuts to take that off. Gear wrenches work the best, but still the middle one is like really hard to get to. <laughs> you just gotta do like an eighth of a turn at a time. And then once it's loose, you can barely get your hand up there to get the rest of the nut off, whatever. So here's the template. There's already a hole here, um, stock location. I just lined it up with that hole. Gonna drill two three eighths holes here. Just gonna punch it real quick, do a pilot hole, and then probably send it with a three eighths if I even have one. Because I break drill bits like crazy. For some reason, I just break them all the time. But get that punch, get that drilled, and then we will come back to install the new master. Hopefully this goes a little better. All right, checking back in. That was super annoying. Not gonna lie. I drilled the holes in the puddle right where the template was. Right exactly where they said to drill. And what do you know? take a gander at what what happened they didn't fucking line up but i got it on i had to open up this hole a bunch which is really annoying once you drill a hole to begin with to try to open it up just one way but i got it <clears throat> getting those bolts in there it's like this whole thing is just super awkward whatever it's it's on it's tight so next step it's going to be reinstalling the pedal into the car, the three bolts. I'm sure it'll be pretty annoying to get to those, but I'm gonna go lay on my back and try to work it in. Hopefully it goes better, we'll see. All right guys, I'm pretty much done. Show you what, what everything else that's needed to finish it up. Um, let me just say like, if you're gonna do this, it's a good mod. It's a, for sure a good mod. I've heard great things. I was having trouble getting into first and reverse and I think that'll solve it. And it's just more reliable than a stock slave. Um, but it's probably one of the worst things I've done to this car, most annoying. Um, I'm literally sore from it, but it was really difficult. To get it back in the stock location um, and I just adjusted that joint to as close to factory location as I could with still having threads in it but that was not fun getting it back in there and trying to get those nuts back on I, I was gonna keep working on the car, but I'm for sure done for the night, but. Um, there she is, got the cover on, tightened down, stock hose, and then the other line that goes to the slave plumbed down there. Should be a piece of cake plugging that quick release in once I get the torque tube and trans back in. And, once that's all done, hopefully she goes into gear easier and is reliable. But unfortunately, I ordered an ECS spool kit for the diff and it's not, hasn't even shipped yet. And I'm done with everything else now, drive train related. So I think what I'm gonna start on next is motor work. I got a Michigan Motorsports Stage 3 Cam. Shout out to them. They really hooked me up. They've got great customer service. They got back to me within a few hours of inquiring about everything. So we got a bunch of goodies. I'll do an unboxing and everything for that. Um, but for the rest of the week, I think I'm going to start disassembling everything for the motor. 
Got to take the steering rack out, engine front cover, come on ground sensor, all that stuff. Everything, intake, heads got to come off. So it's going to be an adventure. I've, I've never really dove this far into a motor build and I'm really excited. And hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. I know it can be a little bit boring at times. I'm trying to keep it a little bit interesting here and there. And hopefully you guys are learning stuff along the way with me. But for now, that'll be it. Have a good night, everyone. Peace.